my name is Jackson Powell. I'm getting my PhD in biological sciences here at FSU. I'm in the ecology and evolution group. My research focuses on how multiple life stages in marine invertebrates can slow down or potentially increase the rate of adaptive evolution in the face of climate change. When I used to live in Maryland, they took us to the, to the National Marine Aquarium in Baltimore. And it was the first time I really saw anything in the ocean that was not a fish. I didn't really understand, you know, I was probably like six or seven years old, that crabs and other little critters came from the ocean. So I thought the marine invertebrates were very cool. I remember my brother and I asked one of the, the, one of the aquarists there, what sort of job you'd have to have in order to work on those sorts of animals. And they told us, you need to become a marine, a marine biologist. And so me and my brother both decided to go and try to become a marine biologist. And I just kept going with it. It fell off a little bit when I was, when I moved to California, but in sixth grade, we went to a field trip and we went to this lab on the coast and they actually were studying jellyfish life cycles. And pretty much it got reignited within me that spark to pursue marine biology after I moved out there. Going through um, a science as a black male, I looked around and it's very easy to see there aren't very many of us that are in these fields. And when you actually look at media and look at what's presented to us, there's not that many role models that we can have. And so part of me really wanted to get the PhD because I actually wanted to pretty much become that black professor that I never had. Not just that, I like research. I really love research. I like to see how we can actually go out there and contribute to the world in some way with some sort of data or challenge long-standing paradigms to see if they actually hold up to what we know now versus what was held maybe a few decades ago. And it's a nice feeling to know that you actually have the power to go forward and do that and leave a mark. Currently, I don't think I have uh, one career in mind. I view my trajectory based on my goals. And my goals pretty much boil down to becoming a role model for other minorities to show that they too can work hard enough to actually get into a field that society doesn't really let us know that we can be in. I want to be there to tell them that here, you know, hey, here's how you figure that out. Here is um, the sorts of things that you can get involved with, even if you don't get into these sorts of programs where you can volunteer, how you can up your, um, your research acumen, even if you are not in some sort of program. I don't think that my research is very focused on teaching. Obviously, it's not, I'm not in a science education degree, but my research being that it is, it's very evolution based and a lot of Americans still have problems with understanding evolution or think that evolution is for a certain demographic of people to believe in. I think that is very good because it opens up the opportunity for me to clear some discrepancies regarding how people view or think about evolution. You know, a lot of people still think it's just survival of the fittest, and there's so much more to it that they don't realize is even affecting human populations to this day. So my days vary quite a bit. I work down in the FSU Marine Lab, and sometimes my days could be me going out on a boat, going out scuba diving, um, and doing research with my advisor or other grad students to help them out. That could also include just me going down to the marine lab and snorkeling around for the species that I work on, taking them back to the lab and doing dissections. And the dissections for my animal requires me to do it, unfortunately, at like 7 to 10 p.m. And that could be a longer sort of day. I might go out to the field, boat out there, snorkel around for my animals, come back to the lab, wait a few hours and do my dissections and fertilizations later on that night come back in the morning and I could find larvae that I can work on. Sometimes it becomes difficult to figure out what is an accomplishment when everyone around you in your normal workplace does the same things. And I like to remind myself what I was feeling when I decided I was going to go to Florida State and get my PhD in biological sciences. What I'm trying to do hasn't been done before because it's hard. Otherwise, people would have done it a long time ago. And so I'm willing to make the sacrifices and work this hard, knowing that I'll be one step closer to making the world the sort of place that I would like to see it.